Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. This video I'm going to go through some um, SMC, which is uh, stand for Scalar Mixer Conversion Testing Measurements, on the setup, on the calibrations, and also on the measurement. So right now we are using a PNA, and PNA x to be exact, to do the measurements, where the RF is from port 1, the IF is going to port 2. And LO, we can either choose to use uh, port 3 and port 4 if you have a second LO options in the PNEX. But if you don't have that, you can use the external SIG gen, like what we are doing right now. So I'm going to go through step by step on how to set up the external SIG gen. And from there on, we go through the setup on the SMC, which is stand for, again, stand for scalar mixer conversion measurements. And also from there on, we do um, a quick calibrations and after that we're going to do a measurements and some setting to tweak around to get the optimum results that we want so what you can see right now we have one mixer here and the other things that we need to use in the during the calibrations is power sensor power sensor that we are using right now is a u2000 series uh, which work well with uh, pnax as a power sensor and also as a receiver if needed. So let's get to it. So this is how it look like on the PNAX. Um, so I just remote to to that box and after preset, this is how it um, go back to the default state. And we have to go to setup, click on measurement class. If you have um, the full options uh, PNAX and this. This will be all the uh, options that's available for you to use. So in this case, we are going through uh, scalar mixer converter measurements, plus phase. On the next video, we're going to cover on the vector mixer converter, which is much more complicated in terms of setup and measurement. If you want to know more detail, what's the difference between scalar and vector mixer converter uh, measurements, you can always go to here. Let's close this first. How and we just do a quick VMC and it will list down what is it all about, why is VNC, okay, over here. Then if you want to know more about SMC, then we have here, FNC measurements. So again, this video actually cover everything that's mentioned in the help file. You can go back to the help file anytime you need, but I feel that our video will do, um, similar help uh, for you for any user that needs guide on this smc right let's close this and let's go back to scalar mixer just click ok and by default it will go back to the setup window this is what we call a manual setup and as you can see there are multiple tabs here my personal preference is that um, i will always start from the first one here and then I'll go to the last one because this is where the hardware setup will be then I'll move back to the first tab okay and of course you can do whatever you uh, in sequence you need um, as long as you're comfortable with that and because we're going to measure a phase uh, information on this mixer and furthermore we are on scalar we have to click on this animal phase so there are different type of uh, measurement protocol uh, for phase. So it's either the first point, midpoint, last point, or specific number of points. So the difference you can again check on help. Just type uh, phase reference point, and it will spell out all the information that it, that you need. If you can't find any, um, you can actually engage um, help from any of the key site um, support in your local area so let's start with the mixer setup so as you can see here the mixer is connected the rf output from port one it enters the rf input of the mixer and the if is going to port two and the lo i'm using the external sig gen so what we can do here so this rf and this uh, if output and for the lo as you can see, it's not part of the selections because we haven't set it up yet. So how do we do it is we go to source, add source. So as you can see, we have an EXG setup here. 
and it's linked to the network because it's connected through a network so these two instruments are in within the network so they can identify each other and this way you're going to select it as um, what type of device this is so since it's a source yes we own you select as a source and that for the driver we just take um, AG uh, EXG because it's part of the EXG and we have to select this active showing UI so that we can um, select as part of the options in um, the LO part so in detail it's very similar to how you add on a power sensor so we have a video on that so you can go and view it so once you've done that we just put OK and we go to LO so this is how we select um, EXG as an external controller so in the event that you want to use PX, a PNA as um, the second source as an LO driver you can connect to port 3 or port 4 here uh, from this LO and connect to port 3 or port 4 and you can change this to port 3 or port 4 as you wish okay then we go to mixer power so for the mixer power that I will owe, uh, according to the spec for this mixer is 7 dBm and then we go to mixer frequency um, because we want there are two ways of doing this mixer one is fixed IF and the other one is um, fixed LO so when you have fixed IF your LO will vary and when you have fixed LO your IF will vary so for this case, for face measurements, we do recommend to use a fixed LO so that IF will vary and be able to compute out the results for face and delay, group delay. So um, this is what we're going to try. So it start from 3 gig and 3.5 gig. Okay, let's try that and then LO we're going to be fixed so that we can vary the IF so from there we just calculate so this is how we calculate so you can have a top or bottom up convert or down convert so it varies from 500 mag to 1 gig and um, the IF the IF specs for this mixer is between DC to 1.3 gig so let's put it um, within the 500 mag range and if you want to do it the other way um, let's say we want to fix IF um, so we set it to okay, 60 mag so we can also calculate back on the LO that we need to, that varies and it will generate out the fixed IF always so after this um, all the calibrations and measurements will be similar so it depends on which type of IF you want it to be whether it's fixed or sweep so let's go back to here again um, let's start stop 500 and let's calculate IO sorry fix IO yep okay and the power for RF expect um, uh, it, so for this RF input, um, we normally do uh, a 20 dB below um, the LO just so that it won't saturate the mixer. So minus 15 is a good number. And the other last one is that whether we want to sweep linear frequency or we want to do a power sweep. So for this case, we want to have a linear frequency match. And then let's change the IF bandwidth to lower so they can do a much better measurements so from there on um, let's click on the marker so let's set up um, a couple of marker and let's do this uh, somewhere here and somewhere here then we turn on trace to we trace to measure um, the face uh, sorry the delay and trace to we do um, face Okay, so so we have three informations here and 
uh, so we have the number of points set up, the power set up, the frequency range set up. So these are the initial measurements that we want. So we are happy with that. Then we go with calibrations. So there are two steps of the, doing the calibrations. First of all, we have to define um, the mixer, the reference mixer for the calibrations. So before doing that, we that's why we have to run a something called mixer characterizations uh, wizard. So this is where you characterize the reference mixer. So they can be used as the um, as the reference mixer during the calibration. So let's start with a uh, mixer characterization mix wizard. So we click that um, because it's not wafer on own on uh, waveguide. Uh, so we just bypass that next. And this is where you select the uh, connector because this is a 3.5 female connector. And this is the eCal that we are using, N7 5 series. And then we go to next. So let's connect eCal to port 1. So eCal is connected to port 1. I should show you the video during the connections, but it's all right. So then we click measure. Then we're going to connect as is shown here. I'm going to use a reference mixer. And we have a filter here just to filter off the image. And then we're going to put the eCal at the end from the IF output. So LO will be there. It will automatically on as needed. This is the low pass filter that we're going to use as part of the um, uh, the image filter. So we're connecting it to IF port. And the output from the filter will be connected to the eCal. So this is how it look like. Port 1 RF to I, the RF input. This is the LO, and this IF out to eCal. Then we save the mixer characteristic, S2P file. So we can just put down um, external LO. Um, then we use the uh, mixer one, reference mixer, and I can put a date here. So we have the mixer characterized, reference mixer, and we're going to use the same mixer for calibrations. Then we go to uh, Smart Cal right now. So again, if, because it's not a waveguide, um, then we want to, you can choose to have um, calibrate the power for each part um, because I've done it prior to this, but um, if you want to look at it, I can go through that also. Then also we have to say that uh, we have to we have the options to choose whether it's an independent independent power cow for input and output. If you want to save the step, you can actually use a true between port one and port two. But anyway, just um just make do make just do a full calibrations and this is where you're going to select the characterized mixer. So click on this and browse and then look for the um mixer that we just did. So this is the one, 1705, yep. Recall and next. And the, just to make sure that the part is correct using uh, APC 3.5 female. Then part one, um, this is the spec that we want to do. So all by default, I don't really want to change anything here. Then we connect power sensors to part one. So we have a power sensor here. So power sensor is connected to port one and because RF, we are looking at minus 15. So we just set the power level to minus 15. Then we connect 
power sensors to port 2. So looking at minus 15, it's about the range that we are looking at. Then connect the power sensors to external LO, which is EXG for this case. Once we've done that, just to measure because the power level they're looking at is about 7, so it's set to 7. Then we do a ECAL to port 1. So ECAL to port 1. Then ECAL to port 2. ECAL to port 2. Connect mixer RF port 1, RF to port 2. So even though it didn't mention about the LO, always make sure that the LO is connected so that the mixer will work as a mixer. Without the LO, it's just a box. It does nothing. So port 1 to RF, IF to port 2, LO to external. So we can save as a cow set so that uh, we can recall it anytime we want if the setup is similar. So Let's do this. So as you can see right now, the face is jagged. And one thing that we can do is to do this, marker, marker functions to delay. So that looks more like it. So according to spec, it's about 5.8 uh, 5 conversion loss at 60 meg. And um, assume that across frequency should look similar so it's well within what we are expecting and yeah that's it from calibration from setup calibrations measurements is how it's done for SMC and you will notice that uh, one thing I didn't do is to use um, the setup here the path configurations because that's, um, even if you have something changed on the um, test set over here underneath this cap, um, everything will be done automatically. The software would will switch it as it's needed. So you're going to see that in VMC because uh, for SMC, there's no need to change any of these uh, connections out here. Right, that's it for SMC. Mm -hmm.